measure the density of water, we need to know the volume and then we need to weigh it. So I've got a measuring cup here that's marked in milliliters. That's the same as cubic centimeters. And I have a scale or a balance. So I'll turn it on and I'll see what the measuring cup weighs. Now this scale has a feature called tear, T-A-R-E. And if I hit the tear button, it re-zeroes it. So now it thinks this is zero and I can add the water and I'll just measure the weight of the water. If your scale doesn't have that, then record the weight of the cup first, then the cup plus the water, and then subtract the weight of the cup. So you just want to know the weight of the water. So I'm going to pour some water in here and I'm going to keep my eye on the marks and I'm going to stop when I get to 250 milliliters. Let's see how close that is. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'll stop there. I think I'm, I'm about as good as I'm going to get. And now I'll look at the weight of the water. And I see 248 grams. So 250 milliliters of water weighs 248 grams. So we measured 248 grams for 250 milliliters of water. Almost a density of one, very, very close. And we know that water has a density of one when we use grams and cubic centimeters for our units. So this is just a little bit off. And these, when you have measuring cups with the labels printed on the sides like this, they don't always uh, have the best accuracy. So I'm gonna try a couple of more. I found this device and this measuring cup. This one is from the lab at school. This one was in our cupboard here at home. And so I can try them also. And I'm gonna add water to this. This is 100 cubic centimeters filled to the top. a little bit more, I think. A little bit more. I think that's right, about perfect. If I look at the scale, it's 99.5 grams. So this one is very, very close to the value we expected, a value of one, density of one. Um, you can find a variety of things. I found this little measuring cup also. And so if you have a variety of little measuring cups, you can check different ones and see if you get a density close to one. This one is written in ounces though, not milliliters. So you'd have to convert that over. Two ounces of water should weigh about 59.1 grams. And so you can check and see how close you are.